<laughs> Ready to do the dang thing. <laughs> Let's see. Jess, Jared, they say that marriage is a sacred institution. Much like this beautiful oak tree that we are under, the true strength of a marriage comes from deep, strong roots. A marriage rooted in love, trust, partnership, and dependence on one another will not just stand strong, but will grow through all of life's seasons. Jessica, I could not be more thankful not only to be your cousin, but one of your best friends. Jessica grew up the true ultimate definition of a tomboy. It wasn't until high school until Jessica threw the mud and worms and for pearls and pedicures. Wow, it's been over 29 years since your mother and I saw you come into this world. Such great memories, and I tell you, if I could do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat. You were so beautiful on the outside, but you were far more beautiful on the inside. My grandmother gave me some advice when I was a teenager. She said, Daryl, if you really want to know someone, ask yourself, do they have a good heart? Jessica, not only do you have a good heart, but you have a great heart. Do so. Oh, this is a wonderful day. I'm so proud of you. The night I met Jared, it was Jessica's 24th birthday. She shared an apartment with Katie at the time. They probably had 30 people crammed inside celebrating your birthday. Jess pulls me aside and says, I want to go to the beach bars. And I replied, everyone is here. Why would you want to leave? And sure enough, she's blushing. I told a guy I like to meet me there and we're celebrating my birthday. We get there and there's good old Jared Widows standing at the other side of the bar. Now we all know Jessica's happy we went to the bar that night, but I am too. I got to be there the night that these two met each other. Of course she walked up to him, but you know. I've never seen my brother so happy and complete, and I know that's because of the love these two have for each other. The two of you are so good for each other. In fact, I have not seen you more happier these last five years in your life. To our newlyweds, Jessica and Jared. God, two of the greatest gifts you give us are the ability to love and the opportunity to be loved for exactly who we are. We pray that as they take their steps forward as a married couple, that you would give them a love that grows beyond anything they have ever experienced. God, would you bless this marriage greatly. In Jesus' name, amen. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I am happy to now pronounce you husband and wife. And Jared, you may kiss your bride. If you open your eyes. shorter brother. I've always looked up to Jared. So is everybody here, so whatever. I am Tori, Jessica's little sister. Jessica mentioned meeting a really tall guy thinking he was really cute. Finally, I met Jared for the first time and I really underestimated how tall he really was. I was like, hey, how's the air up there? He came to me one day and he told me he was gonna pop the question and said, I hope she says yes. I said, well, Either way, we're having a bachelor party, so. <laughs> so back to those childhood memories of Jessica's tomboy days. She's back deep in the woods, shooting deer, and she spends her weekends fishing on the dock with Jared, Gracie, and Ryder. Jared, I wanna thank you for bringing that tomboy back out of our girl. Jared, I never got to say this to you, but you bought the best of my sister. Never would I thought my sister would go out in the woods, shoot her own deer, go bogging, catching bigger fish than most people say they can caught. Jared. You brought out the adventurous side of my sister, but also keeping her grounded and being there for her when she needs you. 
Thank you for being able to love her for who she is and never changing her. Weddings can be stressful. Picking venues, food, guests, finding a size 17 dress shoe. I wish you nothing but love and happiness. And I can't wait to be the bad influence uncle for your gigantic children. Oh.